Today we are going to test your knowledge about a researcher. A researcher? Yes, a specific researcher. Okay. We're going to see how much do you know about João Pedro de Magalhães. Who? Alrighty, so let me tell you something about the person yeah. you're supposed to yeah. guess things about. Uh, so, Dr. De Magalhães, whose name I actually cannot pronounce, so I'm, um, I apologize for butchering your name already now. But he's a Portuguese biogerontologist, very friendly, very jolly. I had the pleasure to meet him. Oh, you met him? Yes, I okay. met him. I had a pleasure to, the, ple the pleasure to meet him. What's during, his name again? Uh, well, everybody calls him Pedro because it's really hard Pedro. to pronounce his name. And go, 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 try again. What, what's his full name? I'm not going to butcher it again. Oh, come on. All right. Give it a go. I think it's something like João Pedro de Magalhães. Something like that. I, I, okay. I, I had like Google right, pronounced right. it for me. But okay. anyway, uh, so I met him during the first conference I went to, the Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, he's very um, passionate about His life name. extension. He, well, okay. no, probably, okay. I don't know. <laughs> but about life extension and the preservation of life. Right. And his work focuses on the application of experimental and computational methods to better understand the genome and the role it plays in regulating complex processes such as aging. Okay. Uh, I try to make the questions in such a way that you can... You, you, you can reason it out. That's going to be even more embarrassing, because if you say this and I still won't be able to, then... <laughs> It's just gonna highlight my stupidity. Ah, oh, come on. I think we do it for the fun. Yeah. For the fun of it yeah. and for the glory. So the rules are the usual. I'm gonna ask you five questions mm -hmm. and you need to get four right. Four right. Win. Yes. <laughs> Dr. De Pedro. <laughs> Cre Dr. Pedro. <laughs> no, just Pedro. All right created and runs a genomics database mm -hmm. containing plenty of information on aging-related genes and as well as longevity variations across the human population and the effects of dietary restriction on animal models. Right. Which of these acronyms do you think <laughs> is the name of the database? SEGR, standing for Senescence Genomic Resources. H-A-G-R, Human Aging Genomic Resources. Age, standing for Aging Genomics. S-A-G-R, standing for Screw Aging, Good Riddance. B. B. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It is right! Is it? Congratulations! Really? You got it Okay, right. okay, okay, I have a good feeling about this one. Go on, go on. Uh, right. All right. We uh, start really, it's the first time I get the first I'm no. not sure. Maybe but, the very first trivia is, I got it, the first It is one. good omen, I, I give you that. Yeah, it is all right, good omen. go on. Come on, so, bring it to me. João Pedro de Magalhães is Pedro, a man... Our friend Pedro, Pedro. Our friend Pedro. Our, now it's, you know... <laughs> Dude. It's almost like you Bruh. know him. You don't even know what he looks like, do you? No. <laughs> okay. Not even sure how he sounds like, because we cannot trust your pronunciation, but yeah. Pedro. Anyway, he is a man of many creative hobbies. One of which His... isn't particularly common. Okay. Like in general. Yeah. What do you think this hobby might be? A. Uh. He performs stand-up comedy. B. He paints religious iconography. C. He okay. engages in free climbing. Okay. D. He enjoys watching the grass grow. Okay, he enjoys... <laughs> to each his own! Okay. So you said it's uncommon. And free climbing, it's okay, it's not as, you know, I don't know, eating. But it's, I, w I would not define it. a hobby? Well, no, but, you know, I don't know. Or playing video games. I, w I, w I would still define it, like, I wouldn't define it as uncommon. So I would rule that. Which out. one? Uh, free climbing. All right. Then we have stand-up comedy. And now, if it wasn't for the fact that you said painting religious iconography, I would also rule out painting, because painting is quite common. But you said religious iconography. Stand-up comedy. Is that your final answer? Yes. You're on fire! It's Whoa! Nice. Boom! 
Right. I thought uh, that you would exclude this... free climbing because I said that it's very much eager. Uh, he is very much into life extension, and free climbing can do uh, can can shorten your life a lot. Oh, that's so, a good point. That's, a good that's why I put it there that's because I thought, I thought I thought you would figure one. it out no, that way. I, mean, I, I tried to make it easy, but anyway, you got two already. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> and then we. <laughs> Dr. De Magalhães uh -huh. does not think we are close to defeating aging. Okay. But he does think we eventually will. There is one critical catalyzing step he thinks is necessary to get there. Mm. What do you think this might be? A. Money, because research funding is insufficient. B. Researchers must change the way they think about aging. C. We must make human civilization aim in that direction, the direction of wanting to actually defeat aging. Which is a reasonable one. D. A bloody ton of sheer unadulterated luck. No. Which I wouldn't, well, I, mean, I wouldn't, you know, in good conscience rule out no, anyway. No, but I mean, that's a really, I mean, it's a very fair but it would be really pessimistic argument, like, you know, we can't do it unless we're super lucky. Oh, all right, well then. I did tell you that it's very jolly, so... Yeah, so maybe no. Maybe, maybe it was a hint, maybe it's the fact that the answers tend to be wrong in my trivias. We will never know. See. We must make human civilization aim. Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, blimey! You're right! Three in a row! What did you do to the real Giuliano? João Pedro de Magalhães. Pedro. Was Pedro. Our friend Pete. <laughs> not Pete. Pedro. Pete. No, no, no Pete. Not, not that. That not I'm going to cut. Anyway. <laughs> or not. Okay. Dr. De Magalhães was once asked something rather unusual by... How do you pro how to pronounce your name? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Something, he was asked something rather unusual by a mm -hmm. government servant. What was he asked? He was asked if his daughter was ever involved in any war crimes. A. B. He was given a point-blank marriage proposal. A point blank. Yeah, like so the, the 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 person he was talking to just asked to marry him, like in, in a, out of the <laughs> okay. blue. Okay. C. Because of a bureaucratic error, he had been assumed dead and was asked for a certificate to pro pro prove he was actually alive. <laughs> D. So wait, wait, wait! You have to just showing up and talking to the person is not enough to prove that you're alive. It depends if it actually happened or Did not. Did you ever prove to me that you are alive? Uh, we can discuss You never show me your documents. <laughs> I have my passport, if you like. Okay, fair enough. I, I won't, well, yeah. You can also check my heartbeat, that's so if that's... No. no document. Until you show you my document, your life is Schrodinger's life. You, <laughs> you're as, as good as the Schrodinger's cat, as far as I'm concerned now. So go on, yeah? Option D. He was asked why he must have a name that is so damn difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Ah, this is difficult. I mean, you can cut this out. I'm going to put some yeah, elevator yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, no, because I don't want to lose the flow. I want to get it right, so I need to think through this. So, if he was actually alive. Ah. I know. <laughs> Uh, this I'm not going to cut. Even if you stay in that position for an hour, I'm going to keep it the whole hour. Okay, I just... I'm between A and C. I'm going between A and C. Ah. Uh, okay. A. Is that your final answer? I don't know. <laughs> yes, it's, it is. It is. It is your final yes, answer? Yes, it is. That is correct. No! Wow! Oh! Sure you're not looking I'm, at I, dude, screen. really, I, oh, wow. 
Okay. This so, is my day. So, uh, this is my technically day. Technically, you've already won because this is the fourth question. Bye. I'm done. <laughs> there is the. Come on, you can go for the queen sweep and get the fifth right as well. Uh, why not? But you you, know, if you, um, I okay. don't need it. If you're a good sportsman, then you would bet everything on your on the last question and be like, if I lose that, if I if I get that wrong, then then I lose the game. <laughs> that was very dirty of you. Well, you don't have to. Challenge do. accepted. You don't have to do Chal it. I <laughs> Challenge right. accepted. Go on. Dr. De Maria is his Pedro. Pedro is probably one of the scientists that is most open to the possibility and the desirability of totally defeating aging. Right. Despite his strong desire to see aging defeated, he's not optimistic that we'll make it within the lifetime of nearly anyone alive today. Okay. In particular, he does not think that a repair-based approach, like sense for example, can ultimately work. Why does he think so? A. Mm. He doubts that sufficiently comprehensive repair strategies strategies can be devised. B. He actually disagrees with the view that aging is driven by damage. C. He thinks the intrinsic and predictability of biological systems is a key limitation to such a process. Approaches. Today my English is worse than usual. D. Because if repair approaches actually led to long-lasting results, people wouldn't be able to make a living of repairing stuff. So, let me think. A. Uh, you know, you cannot repair everything. All perfectly. B. Aging might not be driven by damage. C. What was it? C again. Intrinsic, Intrinsic unpredictability of biological unpredictability, unpredictability, not incomprehensibility of biology. <laughs> intrinsic. I have a biologist here say that biology is intrinsically incomprehensible. I stick to that, <laughs> and probably every other biologist would. Uh, intrinsic, intrinsic unpredictability of biology, which is a fairly good point. Usually, when you try to, you know, you think you have a model, and then you try to test the predictor outcome, it usually turns out that you missed something, or that you didn't consider something. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you decided to bet everything on this. I know. <laughs> But if I get this, I should get a bigger win victory, there something. Is, there is nothing as a prize, <laughs> oh, you know, okay. we decided to, to play for glory. For glory, okay. Um, you get bigger glory. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Uh, B is like, what is it, B not damn it. Uh, okay, I will roll out B just because. Just B because. B just cause. because, of course. That was a bad one. Uh, I apologize. Uh, C. Um, that's what I would do. What, that's what I would say. You so know, C is C. your final answer. Yes, it is. Queen's Weep! Oh! You got them all right. You never won, but when you do, uh, exactly. The time. That's that's what happened with my f physics exam in during my bachelor's degree. I I didn't pass the exam six times. The the last time I got the maximum grade. Congratulations. I usually don't win, I but when I do, I do it properly. I should keep this in mind for future trivia. <laughs> I, I'm binary. Either or. It's Either one. or. Okay, well, that yeah. makes sense. If you, if you need to win, you should do it properly. Otherwise, why bother? All right, so this is the first successful trivia of all the few ones that we've actually produced. Yeah. Congratulations for being the first winner. Thanks, of... Pedro. Now I like you a lot because I you made me win I in a glorious you... way. The trivia. I, I will show you his picture and everything. Maybe maybe I will introduce you one day. Okay. If it happened to be all the three of us in the same room, which um, is not okay. particularly likely, uh, who knows? So, Pedro, I know you <laughs> and I like you. Well done on making me win the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for, for being easy to guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also thanks for to everyone who's watching. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thank you if you're a lifespan hero or if you'd like to consider becoming one to help us 
continue guessing, guessing things about researchers and stuff like that.